Hello and welcome back to another AB Helicopters video. Today, join us on a quick flight in the amazing MD500 helicopter as our student pilot gets his first taste of the Rolls-Royce turbine engine. Now we'll start with a little bit of information about this specific helicopter before moving quickly on to the startup, takeoff and departure to the north of Denham Airfield where we'll have a look at a couple of general handling exercises and a landing at a confined area. We'll then head back towards Denham and do a little bit of airfield manoeuvring, including some quick stops, before calling a day. But this aircraft, an MD500E helicopter, was built in 1989. And for some of the eagle-eyed viewers among you, you may notice it's got a couple of modifications versus a standard MD500E. So, first of all, from inside the cockpit. Well, it has the slimline um, cockpit arrangement. So that really helps the forward visibility um, and keeps all the instruments in a narrow cluster. Coupled with this, it's got a modification called the Clearview cockpit. And instead of the normal four-piece cockpit um, windows, it's got a two-piece arrangement. Now, this was made by a company that unfortunately is no longer in business, but it does really um, complement the, the slim um, cockpit uh, arrangement that's in this aircraft. This one has also been retrofitted with the Aspen electronic flight instruments. So there's a, a digital um, display in the, in the cockpit that uh, provides the artificial riser. And it's also got a um, airspeed indicator and um, altitude indicator uh, digitally provided. Now, this particular aircraft has not been specced with a rotor brake. So that's to um, aid the weight reduction add to the sporty characteristics of the aircraft. Unfortunately, in windy conditions like today, it does also make stopping the rotor blades after the flight a little bit more tricky. The aircraft also has the uh, auxiliary fuel tank, which is in the back of the aircraft. Now that gives us an extra 200 pounds worth of uh, fuel, or it is about an extra hour worth of endurance. And that's really valuable in an aircraft like this. Oh, yeah. um, overall, the aircraft is in fantastic condition. It's got a lovely white, um, paint job and inside it has very nice leather seats that's recently been upholstered. Anyway, we hope you enjoy the film. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any questions in the comment section below and we'll try and get back to you. And as ever, we are using our trusty Garmin Verb camera to, to film the flight and we've also left a link for that uh, in the description below. So if you're interested, check it out. There's 10%, 12%, 13, 14, 15. Okay.